Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash Show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day, and thank you for staying with me this morning as I find another great guest. Get to talk to one of my favorites. He doesn't know he's my favorite, but he is Dan Abrams. He's here to give us some information about the new series, Court Cam Presents Under Oath. Dan Abrams, welcome to the Founder BB Show for the first time. Thanks, thanks, Valder. I'm thrilled to be here. I love watching you on TV because you look like, may not be true, you tell an unbiased story. You just give the facts. And I love news that way. How you do that? Well, you know, I try, um, particularly on legal stories, right, where so much is at stake that, you know, sort of uh, providing people with the information as to what is happening in the courtroom I think, allows them to make their own decisions about what they believe happens in a particular case. Um, and, you know, look, that's why being able to do something like this, this new series under oath where we can show defendants on the witness stand allows people to decide for themselves. Uh, what do I think about it? Do I believe them, et cetera? Well, let me ask you, when people get on camera, Dan, I'm not going to say other than professionals, because some professionals, they succumb to this also. You know, they tend to want to put their best foot forward. And that's not always the truth of what's happening. How does court cam or under oath, how does it get to the truth and, and, and not give us the theatrics? Yeah, see, I, I guess having covered trials my whole career, um, many of which were televised, I found that that's actually not the case in, in most televised trials, that people forget that the camera's there, particularly a defendant whose life is on the line. The last thing they're going to be worried about is whether they, you know, how they look on camera. They're going to be worried about how they look to the jury um, as to whether they're going to be walk free or potentially serve life in prison. Um, you know, there have been a few cases, uh, certainly, you know, the O.J. Simpson case back in the day. Everyone was I could say, well aware. I could say the Menendez of, brothers also, too, now. Sure. Yep. Menend uh, but I would say even more <laughs> in OJ, the camera became a central focus, right? I mean, your, your point about sort of, you know, are there, do people behave differently? And my, my position on this is in the vast majority of cases, they don't. But there have certainly been cases like OJ where uh, they did change their behavior. But I would argue, for example, in the Derek Chauvin trial recently, that trial unfolded the way that it would have unfolded with or without a camera. Well, this is what I, I, I think about. Does the defend people who are testifying uh, for or against, it doesn't matter, are they not having trepidation about being on camera? They might testify in a closed court, but now they're on cam everywhere. How does that play yeah. out? Yeah. Again, I think that when you're talking about, you know, this, the under oath series is about defendants who take the witness stand in murder trials. Right. They take the stand in their own defense. And I do not think that the camera was at all their focus in any of these cases, that their focus was I am potentially going to prison for life. I have to convince these jurors. And look, and I think that when you're talking in these cases, about, you know, for example, the state of Texas versus um, it's the people, the people of the state of Texas versus there were galleries built in courtrooms. There's a reason galleries were built there, because the public is allowed to watch the proceedings. That's part of the check on the system. It's a part of allowing people to see how their elected prosecutors are doing. Um, and so I think it's important. Uh, I, I think it's more than just, you know, OK, I think it's important in the vast majority of cases for cameras to be present. There are certain kinds of cases involving children, et cetera, uh, you know, a divorce case, et cetera, where I think that it might not be appropriate. But my position is that, that cameras are generally a very good thing in courtrooms. 
Okay. Uh, we're heard on multiple platforms and one of the platforms is Instagram. And one of the posters wants to know that they are facing the uh, decision from the judge in a couple of months. What can they learn from your show under oath? Well, this show will show you the risks that a defendant faces in taking the witness stand. Um, meaning, you know, you hear a lot of people say sort of colloquially, well, you know, if the, def if the person didn't do it, well, then why didn't they take the witness stand? And I think if you watch this series, you'll understand that guilty or innocent, there are enormous risks for a defendant in taking the witness stand. And I think this is gonna provide people with a little more understanding of the balance that, that a lawyer has to get involved in with a defendant in deciding whether it's worth taking the witness stand. It's the reason uh, the vast majority of murder defendants don't take the witness stand. Poster, I hope that answers your question. I'm going to wrap up with Dan. You got a lot going on. You got a new book. You got a new Lifetime movie, a new documentary. You got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. But, you know, particularly for Dallas, my new book on Jack Ruby, The Forgotten Trial of Jack Ruby happened in Dallas. And it's yes. an unbelievable unbelievably compelling case that the people remember Oswald killed Kennedy. Oh yeah. Jack Ruby live on television shoots Oswald. Did you know that Oswald died an innocent man? It's like, Whoa. So we use the transcript of that trial um, to tell the story of the trial of Jack Ruby. Dan Abrams, you got so much going on. You're such a phenomenal on-camera talent. I really appreciate you being here. When do you want us to watch your new series? The new series is Wednesday, June 2nd, 10 p.m. on the A&E Network. Well, Dan Abrams, thank you for stopping by and being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I got more questions than I can ask you for my audience, so I think they like you also. Valder, I'll come back, I promise. Thank you. I know you're going to have a lot of success. Please remember, come back to the Valder BB Show. You're always welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.